my check my check family I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you mr. batch here and I'm so glad that I'm here and you're there on the other side of the screen been down for a minute technical difficulties also uh, I was in uh, Chesapeake Virginia for the marriage of uh, one of my younger brothers got married over the weekend over that weekend the uh, weekend of week two <laughs> you know, ain't that something uh, how you mark things in life especially during the football season you can uh, tell us of certain events that has happened in your life whether it's a birthday anniversary a party or, or one of the holidays revolving around sometimes what happens during the football season so without further to do let's get down with the get down and mr. batch is here to do his prognostication and his overall swarminess before before I get into week three's rundown real quick, uh, I didn't have a chance to put anything up. If you did, you probably saw my first uh, week one stuff up on football.com. But if you didn't, uh, I'm going to give you a brief rundown. I'm not going to put it up because a lot of people are going to probably say, man, he did that after all everything was in. So I'm not going to put that up. What I'm doing is you're going to see what's coming forward. But for week one, I went 13 and three. That's right. I went 13 and three in my picks in week one. In week two, I went 10 and 6. Not bad. So let's see what happens for me in week three. All right. This is what we've got coming into week three. Browns, Ravens. I got the Ravens. All right. The Ravens is, is whomping people 2-0. and oh. Redskins at the Lions. Uh, I, I'm looking at the Lions to pull an upset this week and get the Redskins. The Redskins were not impressive in their last in the week that the, their last victory. Texans uh, at home versus the Jaguars. I'm taking the Texans. Uh, 49ers at the Vikings. Even though the 49ers shocked the world in their their week two win, I think the Vikings are on a roll. Uh, Falcons at the Patriots. That's going to be a cool one because uh, the Falcons are coming in 2-0. Uh, Brady just coming off a loss. They won and won, especially they lost to the Jets. Ooh, man, that was the talk of the town in, the, in, in New York City. You'll have to check out my uh, coverage of the NFC East and AFC East for a little bit more in-depth on the New York Giants and the New York Jets. All right, Chiefs at the Eagles. I got the Chiefs over the Eagles. Eagles are in trouble, man. Uh, Donovan McNabb is out, and you're going to see some. Uh, hey, if he's eligible to play, Michael Vick's going to get in there and do his thing. Everybody's been doing this thing with the Wildcat, and uh, people are actually instituting that formation. Packers at the Rams. I got the Rams. Yeah, I'm looking for the Rams to do an upset. Yes, upset the Packers. Again, that'll be their first win. Giants at the Buccaneers. The Giants got to look out for this one. The Buccaneers have a guy who used to run for them, and if he goes off, they're going to be a lot of talk, so I don't think they're going to uh, try and hear that. And plus, I'll talk about the Giants in my uh, NFC East uh, throwdown for the big town. Okay, Titans at the Jets. I got, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm taking the Jets in this one. Yeah, well, look into the AFC East thing that I do for a little bit more in-depth on that. Saints at the Bills. I'm taking the Saints. Drew Brees is rocking and rolling. He has a very fine arsenal of weapons. Also, Shockey's healthy. He may not be that productive, but he's still always a weapon, so people have to prepare for that. Bears at the Seahawks. The Seahawks is reeling after the Hasselback took an injury last in their last contest in week two. I got the Bears going to take that one. Steelers at the Bengals. Ooh, the Steelers took a loss last week, and the Bengals, ooh, I think the Steelers is going to be really upset and really want to get another win and keep right on track as the defending Super Bowl champions. Broncos at the Raiders. Whoa, the Broncos have shocked a few people already, but I'm going to take the Raiders because they've sh been showing some grit, even though their head coach has not been brought up on the salt charges. What else we got here? Dolphins at the Chargers. Dolphins controlled that Monday night game against the Colts and still lost. It was like 45 to 15, and Peyton Manning scored that ball in 35 seconds. So uh, the Dolphins, they were 11 to 5 years last year. The Chargers are going to get them. It's a home game for the Chargers. Colts at the Cardinals. Peyton Manning, without Peyton Manning, the, the Colts would be who would be the Colts? Hey, Peyton Manning is the man. He's the team. Colts at the Cardinals. I got the Colts in that one. Peyton Manning's going to go all over the place. Uh, the Cardinals have not really been that dominant kind of steady team because remember they went in through the wild card door to get to the Super Bowl, and that a that NFC West was really muckety muckety, you know, kind of 
jambalaya over there. So that's going to shake out. The 49ers look like they're going to do something out there. And the last pick for the Monday night game is Panthers at the Cowboys. I think uh, Jerry Jones and them, they're pissed off at the way Eli Manning and company um, – Really put it on him, but you'll hear a little bit more about my uh, in the NFC East stuff. So there you have it, Mr. Batch, for week three.